This is the book of um Second Ezra chapter five. And I'm gonna start at verse one and I'm gonna skip. This is the book of Second Ezra chapter five, starting at verse one. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens or the signs, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number, and the ways of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. So we're living in a time where, you know, people don't believe in a higher power. You know, I think they're talking about you got more people um, leaving, you know, the so-called black Christian churches than ever before. You know, you got a lot of people that basically because of the CV and, you know, the last few years basically really probably never had no faith to begin with and, and walked away from the church. Then it talks about iniquity increasing. It's like Matthew chapter 24. Skipping. And the Sodomite sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night. The Sodomite, Sodomite, the Sodomite sea, which, you know, um, you already know what America is basically promoting around the world. Shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night, which many have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. There shall be confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off sent out again. And, you know, you got all these different factories, food processing plants that were burning up last year. Um, I think earlier this year you had fires in Canada. You know, it says, and the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. So that's the point I wanted, you know, but I'm going to probably read a couple more verses. Um, because at the end of the day, the mistress women bringing forth monsters going into basically these to form babies, you know, um, children with two, two heads, you know, children, siblings with their, you know, their heads can join together on one body. And, you know, but like the elder apostle, um, um, had said, he said, you know, you can also equate it to, you know, these similar -like babies, these young Jake's that just out here while and you know and that's what this video is personally kind of going into pertaining to you know it talks about in the book of matthew chapter 24 because iniquity shall abide me because iniquity shall abound meaning the sin upon sin shall grow the love of many shall wax cold so it's going to be a lot of crime in the last days you know um second timothy chapter 3 verse 1 talks you tells you that in the last days shall be perilous times perilous goes into word basically goes into the word dangerous so it's going to be violence, you know, um, a lot of violence, you know, um, you know, and, and basically because of the fact that the Lord is putting a vibration on the earth, you got to remember the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse seven, it's going to be a time like never before. So, you know, Jake is going to be catching hell, you know, they're going to be basically coming after Jake again, you know, take all the times in history where. Esau, Edom basically came after Jacob. Jacob caught hell. Well, you're going to multiply this. On top of all the other things that's going to be going on, because you got to remember, people going to be still trying to live, survive. You know, they was just talking about the feds did a rake hike, but yet and still inflation is still here. <laughs> you know, so all that's going to do is make it more difficult for more people. You know, because they're not giving you no pay, um, raising your paychecks or, you know, giving you any stimulus. So, you know, that's how you know this is all set up to d basically make you dependent on the government. It says, um, verse 9, And salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself, understanding and withdraw itself into his secret chamber. Verse 10, And shall be salt of many. So people are going to be looking for answers and understanding. But like Amos chapter 8 talks about, you know, um, then there shall be a famine of hearing the word. You know, that's when the Most High is going to put it in you know, the men that do this work and labor to basically, you know, remove themselves off the highways and edges. It says, um, then shall wit hide itself and understand and withdraw itself into his secret chamber and shall be sought of many and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinency. So when you go into the word incontinency, it's basically a self, a lack of self-restraint or lawlessness. Um, be multiplied upon the earth and, you know, <laughs> this is this this article is gonna go into it, you know, because you know you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till it's a lack of food. 
So with this, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to God. Allah, Yom, La, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Ha'kadosh, Ba'kathom, Double honors to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone, who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwa. Out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but subscribe to the truth. To you, I say Shalom. Your brother, y'all was out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of y'all, but Shemel Shai. Um, lesson is in regards to, um, I saw um, somewhere like a little um, headline on, on, of this earlier. This will happen come across another article on it. So, you know, immediately I thought of Second Ezra chapter 5 and what I just brought out, you know, verses um, 8 through 10, you know, because uh, it talks about um, Mr. and Sremlin bringing forth monsters. And, you know, we live in whatever generation was this generation X or Z or something like that, you know, basically uh, destroyed. Um, you know, you, you, you don't got young jake really expiring to be anything you know people don't even understand basically how much um you know those lockdowns the past few years have actually messed mm -hmm. with everyone's psyche you know you know they talk about how children are de were depressed and just all fucked up being told they have to stay in the house you know it says cleveland police arrest 12 teens for brutal attack on 34 year old man at a gas station and that looked familiar area. I want to say that's St. Clair, but I'm not for sure. Uh, it says, comparing at the news conference as a unified front and speaking in strong terms, Cleveland City and Cuyahoga County officials spoke Wednesday about the callous beating of a man at a gas station early Tuesday morning by over a dozen juveniles and broadly about the epidemic of youth violence group in the area. Cleveland police and city officials announced the arrest of a dozen teens for a brutal and horrific Attack on 34-year-old man at the gas station near, well, I, I was right, St. Clair, near 140th Street in St. Clair. The 12 individuals arrested range in age from 12 to 17, damn, and 11 of them are currently being held. So 11 of them basically were juvenile. According to authorities, the teens viciously attacked, repeatedly punched him, and pointed guns in his face before he was able to run inside the gas station. Officials played surveillance video of beating at the end. Officials play surveillance video of the beating at the news conference Wednesday. And like I said, I've noticed I've been doing videos on basically the uptick in violence for the last maybe couple of days. And they're pushing this for whatever reason. Who's to say how, you know, the city council and the mayor and all of them are going to try to utilize this. You got to remember, you know, again, the federal government, you know, Cuyahoga County or, or, or the city is a municipality. They get funds and you know, aid from the government, you know, the federal government, you know, that's why they talking about they're using stimulus money now to basically set forth plans that they have to create and make Cleveland a 15 minute city. You know, you had other cities like Los Angeles that basically gave um, their citizens stimulus money, but you had other cities that basically didn't. <laughs> It says, when I watched this video earlier yesterday morning, I was discussing and appalled watching the level of violence directed at someone who appears to be simply doing nothing but sitting outside of a gas station, said Cuyahoga County Prosecutor Michael O'Malley. Several minutes later, the situation turns to complete chaos. Dozens of bullets are fired indiscriminately down St. Clair Avenue, and it could have caused a great deal of destruction. Thankfully, no one was injured by these dozens of bullets. And they keep on pushing that narrative. You know, these young dudes is out here just wilding, um, shooting and all that old shit. Now, now mind you, you know, uh, I've heard about carjackings, all these things. You know, I'm 44 years old. I've seen the streets wilding out to a degree. I don't, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying it's not happening because, you know what I mean, obviously somebody, you know, got jumped on and whatnot, you know what I mean? Um, but nonetheless, you know, again, you got to remember, that's just like anything else. They, you know, they, they, they're painting a narrative. For what reason? Who's to say? But, um, again, all this is scriptural, you know. Because it talks about in the last days that basically, you know, it's going to be violence. I brought that out. Are you going to, um, I brought that out because iniquity shall abound and love of many shall work go. Um, when you go into Genesis chapter six, it talks about it was violence in the days of Noah. And, you know, it's going to be violence in the 
the last days, uh, you know, there's violence during the time of Noah, Noah with the judgment then is going to be violence. This time, this is the book of Genesis chapter 6 and verse um, 11 and reads, The earth also was corrupted before the Most High, and the earth was filled with violence. Verse 12, And the Most High looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted its way upon the earth. And the devil was trying to get us to corrupt our our flesh today. You know, um, it was a mindset at that time. You know, people were eating, drinking, drinking and still giving them marriage. You know, and basically the sin upon sin reached onto the, the heavens, you know. And that's why the Most High basically came and flooded the earth. Verse 13, and the Most High said unto Noah, the end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. So he's going to destroy these, you know, the wicked and take the wicked out of rulership because the earth needs new management. You know what I mean? You know, we was just going into um, how this devil basically, everything that the Most High created and made good, he want to basically rebrand and, and recreate, you know, even to the point of this, um, you know, this fucking, um, Sell cultivated chicken. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I read that. So, I mean, like I said, the vibration of the Lord putting in the earth is basically, um, you know, it's because we because it's going to be violence in the last days. You know, there's enough scriptures to talk about to lead to the point like this. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 16, it says for I'm going to start at verse um, 14. Second Ezra is 15 and 14. Woe well, to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and the destruction draw off nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands. What's the modern day sword? A gun. Which and they just said them young dudes had guns. For the sword and their destruction draw of night. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands. And wait till that's Esau eat them against Jake. Jacob's trouble. For there shall be sedition among men. And evading one another. Sedition is basically an insurrection or uproar. Of the people. So wait till you know the government's not helping these people. Order out of chaos. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So then it's going to get to the point that I'm not even going to care what, the, what, what, what these people with an authority are going to say. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, because, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and many shall be afraid. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So it's going to get to a point where it's going to be a lack of food. And basically people are going, you know, I was listening to something that the elder Malcolm in Chicago was saying, you know, because, you know, I believe he was in the service, just like a lot of um, our elder brothers and brothers in this truth been, you know, basically been in Esau's service. So they've seen men, um, and they've seen war to a degree. And uh, he was talking about how, you know, it's going to be to the point where you're going to have men that's got some kind of training, specialized training, maybe ex-soldiers or ex-military or ex-police um, officers and they're going to basically click up you know you got people that's hoarding food but like he said you're going to have people that's hoarding weaponry and like i was telling the brother you know you got people um, holding on to stuff but if the lord is not with you it doesn't matter what you are hoarding you know now don't get me wrong it make more sense to buy a bag of rice than a pair of shoes you don't need like the elder um uriah from chicago um said you don't need the the gizzies or the jeezies Whatever he said, Glizzy's 3,000 or 9,000, something like that. Like, if you don't really need it, if it ain't a necessity, you don't necessarily need it, then what's the point of getting it, you know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, to each his own, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, but nonetheless, if the Lord ain't with you, you could be getting shit for nothing, you know what I mean? You know, you could be get, you could be saving stuff up for another man. You know, even in the book of Ecclesiastes, he talked about that. He said, you know, um, he said, how you basically um, work and labor to leave to somebody else. And if the Lord ain't with you, that's going to be some people's fate. Yeah. But um, mm -hmm. I'm going to end it with this because in the book of Revelations, it talks about this place is destined for a judgment of violence. You know, book of Numbers chapter 35 talks about, um, I think 33, 35 and 33 says um, this land is um, basically affected by bloodshed and it cannot be cleansed except for by the blood of those that um that basically um it, it, it only can be cleansed by the blood of those that basically killed the i gotta get it because i'm butchering it so lock it almost time to, almost time to go to work too so lock it shit this will happen with it <laughs> i 
Come on. This is the book of Numbers. 35. And it says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye... It's Numbers 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood is defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So basically, this land was taken by rape, robbery, and murder. These Edomites stole this land from, you know, the um, Seminole Indians, you know, the Reubenites, the Gadites, you know, um, they took this land by bloodshed. And the only way to cleanse this land, because this land is defiled, and that's probably why it's not yielding the fruit, you know, this harvest, you know, they got to grow shit in labs because, you know, just for a multitude of reasons, this land is kind of cursed, you know. They don't basically keep up the actual practices of, you know, making the land be fruitful because, you know, you're only supposed to really like grow on the land for seven years and then you grow into another land. I mean, you know, Gad had a system, you know, they would basically they wouldn't use the whole land. They would use a portion of the land. And then after they then basically use that land for because the land is alive as well. So just like we have a Sabbath and we rest, the land needs to rest as well. Esau is so covetous, though, he doesn't look at things like that. You know, he just. Give me, give me, give me, give me. So the only way to basically, you know, um, this land is defiled. So the only way to basically cleanse it is by the blood of those that, you know, took the lives of those that they killed. You know what I mean? These Edomites. So, you know, this the spirit has this set up for a major, major, you know, violent judgment. So this is the book of Revelation chapter 18 and verse 21. And that's old, young, all that. When you go into Ezekiel chapter 9 and talk about um, set a mark on, you know, basically all his chosen and everybody else, old, young, babe, maid, woman, you're going to get it that basically don't have that mark. So these young niggas, this, this videos, I mean, this the, 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 the article was talking about to the old, you know, somebody old, wicked ass grandmama, you know what I mean? If the Lord ain't dealing with you, you know, you mark for judgment. This is Revelation chapter 18 and verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the. Thus with. It says, And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. So with violence, this place is going to be taken down. And with that. If you, unless you're a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Central Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, commandments of your power, with true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, or you will be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to call Allah Yom Lai Yahweh Bashem Yahushah Bashem. Kodash broke a thumb, double honors to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone. Will teach and do real well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Now more so than ever, Shalom to the Akim and the Akwa, the listen and learning. Lord willing, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad, and the land of other nations appearing like other nations, but subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Till next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom. Awaf, Wabababa, Shalom. Kwam, Yashara.